The first problem of this clep test starts with finding the solution set of this equation here. Notice the x's and the denominator. And so to solve for which values of x would make this entire equation true, we can go about this in a couple different ways. And one of the most effective ways to solve this is to just multiply each side of the equation by this entire denominator. That way, the x's will be in the numerator. So to do this, I'll scroll down so we have a little bit more space to work with. So we'll multiply each side by this x squared plus 7x plus 16. And on the left-hand side, notice that the numerator and the denominator both have this quadratic, so they cancel each other out. So we're just left with 6. And on the right-hand side, we're just left with this quadratic x squared plus 7x plus 16. And now the way to solve quadratics is usually to set one side of the equation equal to 0. So if we subtract 6 from each side, and after subtracting 6 from each side, we'll be left with 0 is equal to x squared plus 7x plus 10. And from this point, we really have two options. We can either factor it, which does not always work, or we could use the quadratic formula, which works for all quadratics. So in this case, we're lucky, and it will factor. So that's what we'll do, since that is a faster method usually. And to set that up, we'll set up two sets of parentheses. And what we're doing is essentially the FOIL method in reverse. And FOIL, recall, just stands for first outer, inner, last, and it's a way to multiply these two sets of parentheses, or these two binomials. So the way FOIL works, first means multiplying this term and this term, and what they create is this term here. So to get x squared, both of these would have to be x. And then the last term in the FOIL method comes from multiplying this term and this term to get this 10 here. So to figure out these two numbers, we need to think which combinations of two numbers multiply to get 10. So to get 10, you could multiply 5 and 2, or you can multiply 1 and 10. And then the outer and inner terms will form 7x. And usually factoring is fairly complicated, but in our case, since each of the coefficients on x are 1, we really just need to figure out which combination of these factors of 10 adds up to give us this 7x. And in our case, it would be 5 and 2. So we know that this would have to be 5, and this would have to be 2. And we know that everything is plus, because there's only plus signs in here. And if either of these were negative, this would be a little bit more complicated. And to know if you factored this correctly, what you could do is just re-multiply out these two binomials using the FOIL method, and you will get back this quadratic here. So once we have the two binomials, we can figure out which values of x would make this entire equation equal to 0. And for that to happen, we need to figure out what x value can we put in here to make this parentheses on the left equal 0. And in this case, negative 5 would work. And if we put in on the right set of parentheses a negative 2, that would work as well. So the final solutions to this are x equals negative 5 and negative 2. And to write this answer as a solution set, we just put it in brackets like this, negative 5 comma negative 2. On the actual CLEP test, you'll have multiple choices for your answers. But in these videos, I'll just give you the answer.